Welcome to this video on the Line and Arc tool in Sketch Mode of Autodesk Fusion. We can enter Sketch Mode by clicking the Sketch icon in the top left of the toolbar. Alternatively, we can type L on the keyboard, which is the shortcut for the Line tool. The next thing to do is select the plane on which we want to make our 2D drawing. I can move around with my mouse and the blue field shows me the plane that is currently active. I am going to select the ground plane, so I'm now going to click. The line tool can be activated by clicking its icon top left or by selecting it from the create menu or by hitting the keyboard key L. The cursor has now changed to a line and arc symbol and it also gives us a tooltip to place the first point, which is done via a left mouse click. Just one simple click and you can let go of the mouse button. And if we now move the mouse, we can see that our line is going to be created. Uh, I currently am snapping to the grid, as we can see, it gives us a green square at the points where we snap. Uh, let me finish this line over here by again left clicking. The line tool stays active and it invites us to specify the next point, which means we can simply keep clicking, uh, no need to keep the mouse button pressed, just click and release it. And we can even close uh, a whole surface by clicking on the start point. And then uh, yeah, it cannot make a new line anymore. So it releases uh, from that point, but the line tool stays active and I can immediately start to draw another line. With this same line tool, we can also create an arc. And in that case, we have to click and keep the mouse button pressed and drag. Look what happens if I drag my mouse, it creates an arc. And uh, that is of course quite convenient. Uh, in many cases, uh, it is more work to draw a shape like this with any other method than the line and arc tool. Okay, but suppose I don't want to create a closed shape, but I just want uh, to have a line. How do I end this? Uh, two ways. You can double click, 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 and it has now ended uh, creating new lines or chaining new lines. Another option is to go to the finish icon. Uh, we can see uh, an icon over there, and if I hover over it with my mouse, it turns green. If I can now click it, it finishes this line chain. Once we are completely done with creating new lines, how to get out of this tool? Well, that is the escape key or alternatively the enter key. We can also draw a line and immediately end it with the enter key. And uh, that means I have one line. Let me draw a line over there and now don't click the mouse, but hit enter. It finishes the line and immediately exits the tool. So far I had the snap to grid switched on, which makes it quite easy to get a specific length because yeah, it snaps to the grid and we can see this line is exactly 30 millimeter. Um, if we do not want the, to snap to the grid, uh, we can temporarily pause it by clicking the control key on the keyboard. Now the snapping has ended. Uh, if I release it, it snaps again. Or if I don't want any snapping uh, to go on, I can simply remove the snap tick mark over here. And now it will not snap at all. Mm, can I create a line of a specific dimension? Yes, I can. Uh, so let me click L again and then uh, let's start here. It doesn't snap. Uh, yeah, that's because I switched the snap off. Uh, okay, let's create a line of exactly 30 millimeters. Uh, we see that blue box over there. I don't hit, uh, touch the mouse at this moment. I just type in 30 and then uh, either 
click on the mouse, click, and then it uh, keeps that mouse tool working. I can now say I want this to be 20, and then click on the mouse again, and then go down maybe another 20 and click on the mouse. Or if I uh, am over here and done my last 20, I can also hit enter and that exits the tool. Look, I have all these dimensions nicely put in the drawing already automatically. Typing in a dimension is also quite handy when you want to create an angle. Uh, let's say I want a, the second line in this chain to be on an angle and I want it to be exactly 20 mm long. Let me first type in 20 and do nothing, don't click on the mouse. Look what happens, it fixed that 20. There is also a little lock, uh, a yellow lock beside it. So wherever I move my mouse now, it stays with a length of 20. If I want a specific uh, amount of degrees, I can hit the top key on the keyboard and now type in 120. And then uh, hit enter to leave the tool and I have uh, an exact length of 20 on an exact angle of 120 exactly as I specified while using the line tool. We can also specify a dimension after the fact. Uh, we do that by pressing the D key on the keyboard, D of dimension, then click this line and it now starts to create this dimension. If I click again, it gives me the number. Note that with that snap to grid, it is not 100% accurate. This is not exactly 40, which I would have expected. Okay, let's say I want this line to be 35. I type that in and hit enter. And now I have this line changed to exactly 35 millimeter. By the way, if you quickly want to know the length of a line that does not have a dimension, uh, then simply click on that line and then here in the bottom right we can see the length of that line. Well, this was it about the line tool. Thank you for watching and maybe see you back in the next video about how to draw rectangles.